Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, I need to make a withdrawal. And it came to pass, afore Isaiah was gone out into the middle court, that the word of the Lord came, saying, Turn again, and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, and I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord, and I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. 2 Kings 20, 4-6 through 6. Being in the kingdom of God share many similarities to our everyday life. One of those similarities is the fact that serving God is like a banking system. Yes, a banking system. We go to the bank to make our deposits. We might put it in our savings or checking account. Now, the more you deposit, is the larger your bank account becomes. And for whatever reason, you're able to go to the bank or use your ATM card to make a withdrawal. Now, if you should go to the bank and wanting to make a withdrawal, when you never made any deposits, you stand the risk of running yourself in legal trouble then there are those who would want to withdraw more than the amount that is in their account. God keeps a record of all that we do, whether it be good or evil. The scripture tells us that God will be paying every man according to their works. Now we try so hard for the natural account, but what about our spiritual account? Now how do we deposit in our spiritual account? Every good deed that we do as a Christian makes a deposit in our account. Every time we show kindness, love, and compassion, it is a deposit. Now, the more you put in will be the more you have access to. So therefore, there are those who are going through hell, but they're still going to church. The scripture says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. The scripture says, if we forgive, then we shall be forgiven. Hezekiah is a wonderful example of throwing up in order to make a withdrawal. Hezekiah was sick and about to die, but Hezekiah, having known how much he had deposited, he went into the bank. Yes, Hezekiah went into his prior closet. Prior is the access code that can get you into your account. Tears is a secondary access code that gets you fully into your account. Ah, the psalmist said, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles. While Isaiah was on his way leaving, the Lord told him, go back to Hezekiah and tell him, I've heard his prayer, and access has been granted. He's going to be healed of his sickness. And not only is he going to be healed, he's going to get an additional 15 years of life. His city also shall be delivered. <laughs> this is why it's important to make sure that your account is in good standing. Make sure that you live a life before God, that God himself can do like he did with Job and boast about the lifestyle that you live. Make sure when you're praising God, you give some extra hallelujahs. You give some extra glories. Make sure you run around the church a little extra. Make sure you give your testimony. Make sure you give your offering. Make sure when the enemy hates you, you love them. Make sure to forgive and move on. Yes, because when you do so, all of this is building up your spiritual bank account. So when the time comes, you can say to the Lord, Lord, I need some mercy. Lord, I need some grace. Why? Because I deposited, therefore, I need to make a withdrawal. The quote of the day, the more you deposit is the more you'll be able to withdraw. As you go today, child of God, go knowing that every good you do for the kingdom is adding to your spiritual bank account. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, Promise keeper, light in the darkness.